Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode here in Zuba And let's see if we get the grand prize of a toolbox right here, which is legendary So let's see what happens here. It could be it could be it We could just get it without any guards appearing and that would be absolutely amazing So let's let that happen today. Who knows? I mean we have a few gems to spend not very many Okay, I admit however, we have what we need so guys smash like for extra luck on your Mesa treasures, and let's see what we have here. Okay, okay, no guards appearing at the very first few tiers. Okay, at the very first few doors, nothing dumb is happening. However, that could change very soon. There you go. This could all go wrong very quickly, but so far, so well. All right, please be the gold crate. Please! That is not a gold crate, but as long as it's free, I am not complaining. And there it is. It was right there. On the wooden door, come on, man, come on. Well, it's random chance, can't even know what you get, so there's no reason to really get mad because you can't control your fate here, I guess. It's all, it's all random RNG. There you go! And we have this here, finally a good openable box, if that's even a word. You know what I'm talking about. All right, come on, please be something. 360, that's crazy! That is 360 coins right there. 100% 360 coins, not anymore, obviously. I'm just kidding. All right, there you go. Yeah, it's a lucky block. I mean, if it's Joku shoes, then it's fantastic. And yes, thank you. That is exactly what we're here for. The good stuff. And I'm pretty sure everything else may not be mediocre. That was actually quite good. We could have gotten an emote right there. Come on. You know what? Fine. No guards appearing. Door number 11. This is actually above average. This is an above average run. We'd love to see this. All right, please. I don't even know how many gems we have. I I'm honestly shocked how we do not know the gems here. Uh, the gem count. Oh, come on. I don't even know what's going on here. Come on, please. Yes! Why are there no guards appearing? This is so beautiful. This could happen every single time we play Maze Treasures, alright? This could be the reality of every single Maze Treasure opening. But yet, it doesn't happen every day. Which is... It's pretty cool, I guess. Because it makes this moment more special. Alright, please. Please be something good. No! That is not something good. I'm pretty sure we could have gotten an Emerald Crate right there. Yes! It's so beautiful. But it's all free. So I'm not mad. Okay, okay. Calm down, Maze of Treasures. Calm down. Calm down. This is uh this is getting insane. Are you uh, are you serious right now? Are you actually for real? Zuba. Zuba devs. Wildlife. What you like to call yourself. Are you actually doing this right now? Are you actually serious? Um this might be a moment in history. This might be the most insane moment in history. Yo! We just completed Maze of Treasures without any guards. That was awesome. Yay! Let's go. The chances of that are minimal. Minimalistic. And it's trash. Okay. Well, it's all free, so you can't really go wrong. So, there you go. I mean, I'm not sad at all. This could have ended up way worse. Now that I look at all the rewards, they're actually very mediocre. But hey, it's all free. All right? It is all free. So there's no reason to be that disappointed in everything. Hey, we got jungle shoes upgraded for Ursula. That is good, though. That is an ironically very nice. Guards badge as well. That is horrible. All right, come on. Come on, though. Please be something better out of these. We could potentially get a good item for Ursula out of this. And we did not. All right, maybe this is good? Nah, not really. So that was it. We didn't even have many gems at the end of the day. What was that, like 1,200? Yeah, that's not enough gems to actually complete the base of treasures with guards. So, right when we don't have gems, guards don't appear. But when we do have gems, they appear. You see a pattern here? Well, I do. All right, do we have anything special here? I'm pretty sure we have a ton of these coins in Silver Toolbox. We could potentially get that emote, though. So, okay, okay, helium canister. Nice. As long as uh, we get new items and stuff, I'm not complaining. All right, let's get in this as well. Maybe get the emote, who knows. And jungle shoes upgraded as well. Well, these things aren't that useless anymore the silver toolbox you can actually upgrade a fair amount of things with them and another one are you serious really this is just gutted all right we got the toolkit yes sir and i'm pretty sure that is pretty much it in terms of toolboxes and stuff i don't think we're going to be claiming any more of these unfortunately here okay 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 there you have it that's pretty much it for now anything at the store ladies and gentlemen whoa, whoa, whoa. we're buying something okay calm down Ooh, ursula that's crazy, 300 character tokens for Ursula is gonna get you quite far. Inflatable muscles as well for Ursula, I imagine. 
However, that would be just a bit too overpowered for now. All right, there you have the coins. And no, I'm not gonna join your lobby. I'm sorry, we have stuff to do. All right, Pepper? Yes, sir. Just give me Pepper tokens. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Just, just the Pepper tokens, that's it. Like, who, who has beef with Pepper tokens? No one. So why would you? Why would you not? All right, and do we have anything here? Oh, yo, check these out. Nice, we finally have some emotes to buy. And we're 100% going to be using this on our Polar Ursula. Yes, sir. Do we have another item slot? No. Okay, okay. Let's just use some emotes right now. Oh, there's so many. First of all, let's use this one here because this is the best out of all the emotes. Max is also absolutely goaded. I love this art style. And where is the one that we just bought right now? How are you supposed to even know? There's only one Ursula emote that we actually have, so it gets mixed up with all these community ones. And the community ones are 100% better though, don't get me wrong. So how about we do a little bit of a challenge here? One thing that we haven't done so far is actually compare Ursula to another character, like a versus challenge or something. So how about we do that today? Okay, and we gotta find out exactly who we're gonna do this with because there's a lot of cool characters out here, but I was thinking, how about we do uh, Ursula versus Ollie because Ursula is the polar bear and Ollie is the koala bear. Get it? Or the panda bear. Whatever he is. I think he's a panda bear. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Didn't mean it. Or, you know, Kaylee also works as. I'm pretty sure Kaylee is the koala bear, basically. But you get the point. They're two bears. So let's just start off with Ursula here. And then we're gonna run down all of the abilities that they have. And then we're gonna choose who is better between Ollie and Ursula. So let's battle. Okay, I don't think Ursula actually likes this lava area because she's a polar bear. I mean, uh, that fluffy. A fluffy bear, whatever that is, fur is supposed to keep her warm and stuff, so I don't think the lava is actually gonna help hold too much. It's actually gonna make things really hot in here. And you know what? Let's just try throwing one of these into lava and see what happens, just because we can. Yo! Can ice stay on lava? I doubt it. I'm not very... I don't think so. But I guess it can in Zuba. I mean, a lot of things could happen in Zuba that can't happen in other games. It's pretty crazy. Alright, man, he got stunned. Easy dubs. Way too easy. Alright, get stunned some more. Actually, that's not gonna do anything unless we hit him three times with the snowballs. We missed! Come on! Come here! Stop running! Stop! Alright, there you go. Ooh, there's a lot of good weapons out here, but I want to get that one right there from the middle island and not get destroyed by lava. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. So, here's... Oh, uh, come on! Yeah, I get stunned! And that dealt way more damage than it needed to. Alright, there you go. Give me that. It would have been interesting to just claim that one here from the lava, but we stole that guy's um, spear, which was supposed to be ours. So it's reverse stealing, I guess? I don't even know. Okay, so, uh, as I was saying, her abilities are absolutely sick. So you use the weapons here. They're pretty mediocre, if I do say so myself. Not a very good start, however. Everything else is just works. Okay, so she's really, really good on ice and snow and stuff, including the new map where there's only snow and ice to walk on, and apparently that actually changes things. And the map is not just the skin. It helps the character a lot, so it's kind of... It's kind of crazy here, and unfortunately, you don't have ice and stuff on this map right here, so we're gonna have to go at it with a slightly less powerful Polar Ursula character that we could have had if we would have played Central Zoo, but this will do the trick too, you know? And there you go! So here's the deal, all these snowballs are just insane because you can throw them and stun enemies like this, and then they're just incapable of moving, even if you hit them or not, alright? You know, we could just hit them and then they won't be, um vulnerable anymore but there you go you keep on hitting them and they're still incapacitated and they can't move it is such a powerful skill and it is absolutely amazing all these new characters guys just get better and better and better and i don't know when they're gonna stop phil is insane joey joy i meant is slightly less insane ursula is absolutely insane and it just it just keeps on going and it never stops it's it's crazy indeed it's insane and when you have characters ladies and gentlemen like uh where is she where, where's the character right there i don't even know shelly yeah if you have characters like shelly then obviously you're gonna get destroyed by stuff like this okay time for ollie right here the panda bear all right this is a panda bear i think let's go let's play some ollie action shall we and excuse the fact that he's level 17 the characters that we're gonna fight against are gonna be on the same level as ours so the skill level is gonna be the same you know you get the deal let's go oh boy the ollie action is gonna be insane so ollie has some very interesting pro player abilities and the reason i say pro player is because you have to be good in order to use them ursula i feel like is just way more beginner friendly however ollie 
actually benefits the good players. And I feel like there's more good players than bad players in this game, you know, just because of how simple the gameplay is. You know, everyone's looking for a challenge, I guess. Um, actually, when I say challenge, maybe... Uh, a challenge would mean fighting a stronger opponent, which we all know is annoying. Like finding a level 20 in a game, you can't beat that guy. So, instead of saying challenge, I guess I should say more complex gameplay, I guess. Because the gameplay principles of this game are very simple. You know what I mean? And Ollie makes things a little bit more difficult. Different. I mean, he kind of switches up what a normal character does. So weapons knock him back, first of all, which is a double-edged sword. I feel like that's the best description of it. Sometimes it helps when you're actually mindful of it and you're using it towards your own advantage, you know? Doing like this, you know, and dashing towards the enemy. Sometimes you want that, but sometimes you're trying to hit the enemy like this and you're trying to get closer, but this happens. You get knocked back. So you gotta be mindful of it and always use it to your advantage. Most of the time, you're not gonna, it's not gonna help you 100% of the time, of course. But sometimes you just want to shoot characters and get closer to them, you know, and they might have a sliver of HP and you're trying to chase them down, so, you know, it's not gonna be the best. But in contrast to that, you know, it's most of the time gonna be a perk to you. But hey, you gotta be a slightly good player in order for, uh, in order for it to work. Also, he has the ability to eat grass! Which is amazing. I mean, there's not that much grass on this map, but there's a lot of grass patches. And as long as there, there's grass patches, you got healing, so it's okay. Alright. And uh, three enemies left. Alright, fair enough. I mean, it's just it's simple at this point. I'm kind of like on airplane mode right now. Just destroying the enemies right now. We're kind of describing things here. Gotta, gotta lock in. Gotta cook. There you go. And let's not get cooked by the lava. Okay, that's not cool. That's very bad, actually. Yo, present. What's up? Um, please. Excuse me. Can you, uh... No, oh, not the extra lava damage as well. Can you please stop? No, we're trying to hit the enemies and we're getting knocked back into the lava. That is clearly not it. That is horrible. All right, there you go. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Calm down, knock back. <laughs> that was not in our favor right there. So it's it's not always there. It's it's a double-edged sword, but most of the time it helps, right? Trust me. So there you go. Ollie is also an insanely good character. I only see good players using Ollie as well. I never see trash players using Ollie. I don't know why. This is kind of more of a pro character. I mean, pro characters don't exist. Like they're all simple. But this one, from from all the simple characters, he's the most complex, I guess, in terms of his abilities. And uh, the room for failure is quite large here with Ollie, but which makes him more fun, I guess. You know, he's a very fun character. Ursula, I admit, is slightly less fun though. Cause it's just way more linear when you play Ursula. You know, all you do chase down opponents, throw snowballs and stuff, yeet! Yeet them towards enemies, and that's basically it, you know? And also hang around in the polar, icy snow zone. However, with all the gameplay, it's just more uh, complex and stuff. So I'm gonna give the victory to Oli at the end of the day. Just because it's more complex and genuinely more, more fun to play. Because that also matters, because you're playing a game for fun as well most of the time. So, you know, Oli just takes takes the cake for that one, fellas. Ursula did not win against Oli. However, she might win against another character. Just comment down below who you want to see next. And I will see you in the next one, fellas. Check it out. Goodbye.